Hello friends, today I'm going to show you how to use singleton pattern in .NET Core. As you can see, a singleton as the name suggests, which means creating only one instance of the class. Or you can say it's like a single access point for accessing the singleton class. Where is it required? It's required where you need to initialize something just for once in a lifetime of the application. It's required for maintaining a log file uh, that's required for um, running a print spooler, which uh, might have to print some documents just once and never use that again. So here we have a patient service, which is of a singleton pattern class of a singleton class. And uh, we created an instance that's a property, which is a private static property of the class type and um, we have another method of the same class type and it's a static method so no one can create an instance of a static method within the static method we have defined or we have initialized the instance variable we are going to check if there is a null value if there is a value, then it will just pass on. If it does not have a value, it will create a new instance of that value, uh, of that variable and assign some value to it. Let's have a look at it uh, in detail. Singleton pattern. As we know, we have two types of classes. One is conventional class and the other one is singleton class. How is the singleton different from the conventional class? The conventional class can be accessed through multiple instances, multiple objects. When we create an object, we are instantiating the class we create a new instance of the class but in case of a singleton class it follows the encapsulation principle of object-oriented programming and it creates only one object which is accessible from a client to access the members of the singleton class it only creates one object in its lifetime and that object can be used to access the members of the class Look at this example. So we have three clients, or you can say three users who are trying to access the singleton class. They will have to pass through one single instance, which will initialize the class and they can access the members. Singleton pattern is a creational design pattern in C-Sharp that ensures a class has only one instance. This pattern provides a global access point to the instance throughout the life of an application. Singletons are used when we want to ensure that only one instance of a class is created and we provide simple access to that instance let's see that in program now this program has one loophole if we have a threading a multi-threading application which is trying to access the class members then at that time a parallel thread more than one thread will try to create instance and they would be able to do that so there we have a problem. The singleton pattern is crashed. What are we going to do there? Well, we have a solution to it. We follow a lock. We follow a lock method. We have a lock keyword. We created an object which is of static, private, read-only, sync lock. And we provide one check for the null of the instance variable. We put a lock method. Within that lock method, we will have another instance verification of the object or the null check of the instance. If we have a null value, then we will assign it the patient service. And if we will initialize the variable, if it does not, we will simply return whatever we received. Whatever is there in the instance, we will return that. How does the lock work? Well, the lock will allow only one process to flow through the loop only once. Once the process is over, then only it can access, then only it can uh, allow a second process to run through or do the verification. So uh, before doing that, I am going to do some checks. So I have one public method inside the patient service class. Let's say, hmm. okay, 
so we will try to make some changes on the deriving classes let me copy that I'll save some time okay as you can see that this class is marked as sealed why did we mark it as sealed so that no one can create an object or no one can access the static methods inside the sealed class that's why we marked it as sealed you can see the difference here so we tried creating an object of the patient service class though it allowed me to create an object but if i try to use that object let's say object dot i want that instance method it's not giving me access rather it gives me an access to the public method method 2 but it does not give me an access to the static method patient service i cannot access that now when we put the sealed keyword on the class it's not inheritable we cannot inherit the patient service from a different class which makes it more secure now if someone is trying to create an object of the deriving class and trying to access that will also not work because the class is sealed okay so you can see that this is the issue with a sealed class now how are we going to use that yes we are going to use that let's move on to the controller so this program is an api program we are not using any database connections here though i uh, tried doing that i thought that it's of no use we tried initializing the db context but it didn't work so so i couldn't go through and finally so i have this api controller and i have uh, an action method print patient which has three threads starting and joining and then we would initialize a variable and we will try to see that how many times it's trying to instantiate that same value okay so here inside the thread we are making an instance uh, we, we are uh, trying to access the patient service or the singleton class and we are passing a parameter of a value and we will try to instantiate that and see if that value changes or how many times the loop has crossed so that the value of my variable is changed let's run that program now the program has come up so you can see that i have a i have a post method i'm trying to uh create the post method and i hit the action result now i will do a continue and it went to the first thread second thread third thread okay now that one of them has gone through and we will see the value is one service created the first thread now ran up and uh we can see that the value is again one service created it's only going with one service created it's never going with a second service or a three service created it's only printing one service created every time every time now finally it came out and it gave me the response but what happened is whenever it went through these threads and it tried to access that patient service dot instance it always gave me one reply that it's one service created so where is it getting that one value it stored that one value on the first instance and then each time i'm trying to access that it's only returning me that value that it has but it never came back to the instance equals to null or the inner instance null check method it never came up to this second if condition okay so that's how the singleton pattern works and if you want to know like where this thing is used so you can see that it will um it can be used in case of uh, we can use that for um, application that needs only one instance to access their singleton class or for example a logger class where you can maintain a log that will only use a single instances to be created so guys that was all for the singleton um, tutorial and until we have our next set of videos Stay tuned, stay connected, and happy coding. Thank you.